In this tutorial in Microsoft Expression Web, which is slightly dated but free and downloadable from Microsoft, we're going to show you how to insert a picture in your web page. So we have a lesson that we've been building over time, and what we're going to do is insert a picture. The first thing I need to do is click where I want it to go. I'm going to click at the beginning of this paragraph before the word what. And then I'm going to click on the toolbar at the top. And the third icon from the right says insert picture from file. I'll click on that. Go to my file system. I'll click on the picture of the airplane and click on insert. It wants an alternate text. This is what you use if you want those who have reading difficulties to be able to have the site read to them. And that depends on whether you want it or not. If you don't want this prompt, you just unclick the box, show prompt when inserting images, and click on OK. And now what it did was it inserted a text in the place where the cursor was. Now, this is basically treating the entire picture like what I would call a big fat letter. Um, it's actually uh, all by itself at the beginning of the paragraph. What can I do with it once I have it here? Well, there's several things. I can resize it. I can click on the handle and drag and change it. Now, if, if, I'm, if I'm not careful, I can mess with the proportions of the picture. I'm going to undo that. And the easy way to change the size without changing the proportions is to hold the shift key down before I click with the left mouse button. Now I can drag and it only allows me to change it proportionally. That's one nice thing to know about it. Another thing you can do is you can actually change how it interacts with the text inside the paragraph. I'm going to uh, uh, go ahead and move my screen down a little bit. I'm going to right click on the picture and the third option from the bottom says picture properties. Let's look at that. Here is my title. Uh, here is my text that I put in called airplane. We'll deal with hyperlink later. I want to click on the appearance tab at the top. When I do that I found the wrapping style defaults to none I also have a border thickness and an alignment and a horizontal and vertical margin. We'll look at those in a moment. Right now I can specify the size and the default is to keep the aspect ratio. Uh, right now the width is 115. This will do the same thing the mouse did. You notice as I bump it up a little higher, because the ratio is controlled, the height changes proportionately as well. And so now I click on OK and it's a bit bigger. We'll go back into our picture properties submenu on appearance. And I want to look at the wrapping style. None is default. Let's see what happens when we click on left and click on OK. Now what we find is the text wraps around the image. The image is in the left of this paragraph. Now the larger paragraph, if I click on it, I, I find that the paragraph is not the full width of the page. I can make it smaller or wider by dragging. I can also move the paragraph over with the buttons at the top. So these are ways I can change things. But this is in proportion to the controls that impact the paragraph. Let's click on the picture again. I'll click on right click and click on properties. Go to appearance and go right. See what happens. Now I have the picture on the right side. Let's go back to left, picture properties. And we'll take appearance and move to the left because I want to show you something else here. If I'm going to put the picture here and the text here, you notice that there's not a lot of room between the two. So I'll right click again. I'll do picture properties and appearance. And now let's try a couple of other things. I have a horizontal margin and a vertical margin. Let's see what happens when I increase the horizontal margin. Let's go up to 10. And now I have this little margin around the picture. You see the area. Right click again, properties, appearance. 
Uh, let's let's make it a lot bigger than that. Let's go to 45 so you can see dramatically. And now I have a margin on either side that's 45 pixels. I'll right click, go to picture properties again, and go to appearance. Uh, we'll drop this back to zero. Well, let's go to five, five p px for pixels. And let's look at the border thickness. We'll go one, two, three, four, five pixels. Click OK. And now I have a border around my picture. So these are some of the things that you can do to modify the properties of the picture. Um, but these are some of the ways in which you can modify it. I'm going to make the border maybe two pixels wide. And there we have it. So we have various ways to change the margin, vertical or horizontal, the size of the picture, the location. Let's look at a couple of others. Here's another paragraph here. I have words before, and I'll insert a picture again and click on the right icon up here. We'll insert our ball. I'll do insert. I'm not going to put a text on that. Notice it treats it like another letter. Words between, and I'll insert another picture. And you're going to see something happen that uh, can be disconcerting at first. Click on OK. Ah, oh, my goodness, the flag fills everything. What do I do now? Well, I click on the image until I get my handles. I'm going to hold the Shift key down, keeping the proportions, and I'll drag my flag to be a little bit smaller here. And now I've got something more manageable. So I, I've taken the flag and made it smaller. But notice again, oops, I lost a proportion there. Uh, notice again what happens when we do this is it's basically treating the picture like it was a word in a sentence or a letter in a sentence. And so you can adjust things this way. But what would happen here if I change the picture properties? and I change it to right aligned. It right aligns it to the entire paragraph. Again, if I click on the paragraph, I can change the paragraph size if I want to. And But what I tend to see is not perfectly what I want. This reminds you that the, the visual editor here is good, but not flawless. So if I want to view my web page in a particular browser, I can do that as well. We have a lesson on this, but for now, I'm just going to, to click on File, Preview in Browser. I'll click my browser. It, you need to save the changes, and here's what it actually will look like when I see it in uh, Firefox. So we'll deal with that uh, later. But uh, these are some of the ways in which you can take pictures bring them into your text, into your paragraphs, and modify them. Play with it and enjoy what you can do in ExpressionWeb.